Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about what happens when you don't get into Bits Pilani or IIT or NIT. What if you don't get into any of these tier 1 colleges? Because let's face it, tier 1 colleges are competitive. Not everyone's going to get in. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure 90% of you guys watching would not get in. That's the brutal reality. But one thing to keep in mind is that that's not the end of life. Take a life. Life doesn't stop after college. There are way more things to do in life rather than just go into college. I have friends at IIT Bombay, I have friends in a lot of tier 3 colleges and I have been observing it. it. It wouldn't make a huge difference. It all depends on you. It all depends on how you utilize these next 4 or 5 years and how you build on top of it and how you choose your career. So college, yes it does play an important role. But even if you don't get a good college, there are a lot of ways by which you can do well in life. Point number one is that you're saving a lot of money. Let's talk about bits, right? Uh, in bits, if you go through bits set, then the average fee for a four-year degree is around 18 lakhs. Now, if I don't go to bits and if I take that 18 lakhs, put it in fixed deposit, I'm not even talking about mutual funds or stock market. I'm just talking about simple fixed deposit. If I put it in uh, fixed deposit at 6% interest, then by the end of four years, I would be having 22,72,458 rupees. So by the time someone from Bitspilani is graduating, oh, like if I'm graduating in my fourth year, I would have zero in my bank account because I don't have a job, I don't have any cash flow. But a person who does not go to Bitspilani at the end of four years, would be having 22 lakhs 72,000 in his bank account and an average salary uh, of a bit CN say it's around 12 lakhs then if you think about it a person who doesn't go to bits pilani at all has almost two years salary of a person who's going to bits pilani so my point is you're saving so much money right now with this money you can do multitude of things you up up ka khud ka business start kar sakte ho if you want to take that risk or you can become an investor you can invest this in a lot of ways or the best form of investment is to invest in yourself you can take this money you can do a lot of courses online you can uh, travel go for hackathons competitions things like that you can do internships by traveling you can even go abroad to do like few uh, programs there are pretty good programs abroad and you can do so many things with this uh, 22 lakhs and if you utilize it well then you would have the same industrial exposure or maybe better than a person from a tier 1 college. The average fee for IIT is around 12 to 14 lakhs totally. So do the math yourself. Even that way, you're compounding a lot of, lot of money. All right, point number two is network. Now, in my previous video, I told you that students from tier 1 colleges have a great alumni network. They have an amazing network. For example, uh, I have a network in which I know a lot of Bitsy and founders, people who graduated from Bits, right? So if I want an internship, I can simply text them and they'll be, most probably I'll get the internship. But tier two and tier three college students don't have access to, the, to this network. Now let's see how tier, people from tier two and tier three colleges can build a network. How can you leverage this opportunity and have good connections to whom you can later reach out uh, if you want more opportunities? Uh, we live in the world of internet, and connecting to anyone across the world has never been easier. So leverage LinkedIn, right? I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people in India, in US and in Europe whom I've never even met. I just know them through LinkedIn, right? Just because I sent them a LinkedIn DM or because I interacted with their post or they might have interacted with my post. I just know them because I've been leveraging LinkedIn, because I've been doing a lot of posting. I've been, you know, texting people and, you know, talking about intelligent stuff. So leverage social media and I'm not talking about Facebook or uh, Facebook or Instagram. That's pretty trash to be honest. Use LinkedIn and Twitter. LinkedIn and Twitter is a, uh, both of these are gold mines. You can find a lot of great people. LinkedIn has a lot of top executives, a lot of good founders. So if you start texting them, if you start connecting with them, if you start interacting with their posts and build a relationship, then even you would be able to build a great network and you'll be able to reach out to them whenever you want. I'll give you some examples, right? I, uh, there's a guy called Vaibhav Sinesti on LinkedIn. He graduated from a really low level college, but now he works for Uber because he has great connections over LinkedIn. And uh, even this guy, uh, have you heard of Vivek Bindra? 
even he doesn't have even he didn't graduate from a good college but his social media presence is so strong that i'm pretty sure he has way more connections than an average iit and or bitsy and so leverage social media meet right people and build online connections right uh, build these online connections and then you can transfer it to offline i've met a lot of people online and then you know uh, once in a while we actually meet so you can transfer online connections into offline connections try that out build a great network Point number three is skills. Now let's face it, a lot of colleges have outdated syllabus, which is not at all relevant in the industry. Also, uh, in bits, I have a really good peer group, right? People around me are smart. So a dumb person like me can learn from those smart people. But this is not true in tier two and tier three colleges. You'll f meet a lot of loafers who are just roaming around in their activa. Good, I'm not saying don't hang out with them, but you know, it's better to hang out with people who are actually gonna make you more productive and uplift you in life rather than, you know, being with loafers. So uh, the thing is key uh, for developing skills, you can obviously use online platforms like Udemy, Coursera, edX, Udacity. All of these have such amazing courses, guys. I haven't been to college in four months and I've been using Coursera and Udemy for all this while. And I am learning so much. I'm learning so, so much. I'm learning about negotiation. I'm learning about email writing. I'm learning Node. I'm doing so much just because uh, I have these online resources. The internet is a crazy place. So develop skills, learn new skills using these online platforms. Just taking up courses is not gonna help you. You'll have to take part in competitions. So there are a lot of hackathons organized by IITs, BITS and all. So you can participate in those hackathons and you know gain a lot of exposure and uh, actually put the things that you learned in the course into practice and become better at it. Yeah, so learn skills or leverage online opportunities. And as I said, use LinkedIn and meet other like-minded people. I get this a lot on Instagram. A lot of people are like, hey, my peer group, they just waste time and because of which I am not productive. Hey, it's your responsibility. Go to LinkedIn, meet like-minded people, uh, you know, interact with them and form a good peer group so that all of you guys can learn together, build skills and do internships and hackathons. Point number four is internships. Now in my last video, I told you guys about how people in IITs and BITs and NITs are easily able to get an internship because of their brand name. Let's face it, right? A lot of people are like, hey, IIT ka banda, hey, NIT ka banda. So the thing is, uh, all these guys get an internship pretty easily, at least the first, second internship. Uh, now, if you're from a tier two or tier three college, you don't have a good brand name, right? So here is where you build a personal brand. So what do you, what do you have to do is, uh, Whenever you uh, get those skills, whenever you learn, say you're working on web development, build a good portfolio, okay? So build a good portfolio of the websites you've worked on, on uh, the things you're working on, and have a really good portfolio. Maybe you can make a PPT, and then send this over to uh, all the companies that you're applying to. Uh, I already told you, build a good connection, build a good network over LinkedIn, so you can send this to all your uh, connections. And this way you can build your own personal brand. So they won't care about your college, they would care about you. You as someone who's providing value to their company. So build a good portfolio and work on a lot of projects, guys. You know, form a team and work on a lot of projects. Also keep posting on LinkedIn and Twitter about things you're working, about things that you're working on. So if you're building a website, keep updating people about what's happening and you know, what are the things you're doing. If you're making a poster uh, on Photoshop, share it with everyone and let the world know. You never know who's gonna watch that and give you an opportunity. I got my first internship because of my YouTube channel. You wouldn't believe this. I, uh, I, I used to get like 30, 40 views on my YouTube uh, videos. I took that link and posted it on a Facebook group called Push Start. And uh, two days later, the CEO calls me and he's like, hey, do you want to intern with us? So that's the power of social media. It doesn't matter even if 20, 30 people watch it, it's fine. Just make sure that those 20, 30 people are someone who are really valuable and people who would add, uh, you know, people who would give opportunities to you. Uh, also, I'll, another, uh, I have another friend called Sean. Uh, he he uh, lives in Goa. He goes to a local college in Goa, tier two college. And he stays in constant touch with me. So whenever an event is organized in bits, I send over the link to him and even he joins in. So in a way he's getting advantages of bits pilani, though he's not in bits pilani. So if you want that to happen, then get a friend at IIT or bits and be like, hey, whenever you guys organize your events, just call me over even I would like to be there. Uh, and that's a great way, right? So you can get access to their events as well.
By the way, Sean is someone who's been leveraging uh, social media a lot. He uh, uses Twitter to post about his projects. You know, he made a, tool, a WhatsApp tool and it was ranked number one on Product Hunt. Uh, and because of that, he has connects in Silicon Valley as well. So person from tier two college in Goa has connected Silicon Valley. That's the power of internet and social media. So leverage that, leverage that. Point number five is research facilities. Now, this is where tier one, tier two and tier three colleges lack. They do not have good research facilities. So a good way to hustle your way through is by, uh, you know, interning at a university. So I have a friend uh, who was at Bitspilani, who was really interested in deep learning. And he emailed a professor at Harvard and he got an internship at Harvard. So he traveled to Harvard and used their research facilities to conduct his research. Uh, then there are a lot of research programs offered by NUS, National University of Singapore and tons of other universities. So do some online research. They have these short programs where you can go there and, you know, interact with their faculties and also use their research facilities. So do some research about that so that if you're really interested in some particular topic, you can, you know, move forward and dive deep into it by doing research. So do some, uh, do some research about it. I'll conclude by saying that Mukesh Ambani, Azim Premji and Gautam Adani, all of them are college dropouts. So ultimately you will have to learn how to live life and then hustle, hustle your way through. So don't worry if you don't get into a good college. It's not the end of life. It's all chill. Life is pretty chill if you don't take it very seriously. Um, not getting into a good college is just part of life and just forget about it and move on, right? There's so much more to do. Maybe when you graduate, you're just 18 and there's so much more to live guys. 18 is nothing. So do great things, build great stuff and make all of us proud. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.